welcome. My name is Kathy A and today I'm going to do kind of a favorites and flops of July and a little bit of August. So I'm just going to call them my favorites and flops for this week because I have tried a ton of products and I'm really excited to talk about a few of these things because I know some of you are pretty curious about them and uh, hopefully I can stop you from buying them in time <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway let's start off with um, this is a favorite. Between the time I started making videos and now my skin has really improved and I use different things. I usually give them a two or three week window. I try them out and so many people like when you're an old YouTuber, skincare companies send you wrinkle creams and skincare stuff so I've been trying a lot of things and for the last uh, few weeks I have been doing this combination and I'm really loving it. Uh, this is Ieco, which is a uh, this is a rose hip seed oil cleanser, and I absolutely love this. I've been using this for about three weeks, and I hardly even put a dent in this. Just a not even a half squirt, and you know, all over the face. It it does suds up just a little bit. It really takes off your makeup gently. It's nice, and uh, it's a, a great cleanser. And I have been following it with my Beverly Hills. MD uh, stem cell, rose stem cell moisturizing cream and I between these two I've been using those for the last three weeks and really enjoying them. Rose hip oil is is legendary in its skincare benefits so this is a, a terrific product and I totally recommend it um, and I want to thank Ioko for sending this to me because uh, I'm enjoying that and the combination with this has been working really well and I love the rose business. You know, I love the, the scent of roses. For hair care, um, I know this is really off. I, I love this hairspray and I use, I mean I, this is my other, you know, it cut, you know, it freeze, not it cosmetics. I don't even want to go there. Um, this is the Kardashian Beauty and this is the uh, Pure Glitz hairspray and this is with black seed oil and this stuff when you spray it on your hair it holds your your style which is what a hairspray should do it smells nice and it has this thing that makes your hair feel luxurious and it's really weird but I didn't notice how much it makes my hair feel nice until I went to wash my hair in the shower after I had used this a few times and when I went into you know wet my hair and start to shampoo I'm like wow this feels great and that's from this and I, I splurged on this I mean it's I think it's around 15 or 16 bucks for the um, for the for the can and I got it at uh, Ulta I'm so glad I did I really like it and I'm not I'm not a Kardashian follower I'm not really into that at all if you have the budget for this try this because I don't go gaga over hairsprays I mean it's just like make it hold my hair and, and I don't care anything else this stuff holds your hair and it does more. It just makes your hair feel and look beautiful and silky. So uh, this is definitely, and I paid my own cash money for this. This is not a, a promo product or anything like that. Ah, oh, I'm so disappointed in this and I, I, I hate to do this. They sent this to me to review it. And they sent me, you know, little things. This is the weatherproof spray from Big Sexy Hair. And it's a very fine mist. Smells awful. And what it's supposed to do is after you got everything all set and hairsprayed your hair, you put this on as the last step before you go out the door and it stops humidity and it stops your hair from frizzing out. I don't know. It's $19 and I love, I, you know, the the sexy hair the the no the dry shampoo I love their regular hairspray but this just was a big fail for me and I think it's cuz it just doesn't feel like anything on your hair at all and I realize it's supposed to be just a light sheer block to help with frizz and things like that and I, I'll have to say it didn't for my hair didn't frizz up and it didn't look crappy it, it looked fine at the end of the day so yes, I guess it does work. It is a weatherproofing spray, but it's not a hairspray. It's not something that kind of all in one will, when you spray it on your hair, you know, it, it keeps everything in place. It doesn't. It doesn't work like a hairspray. I feel bad that I have to give it a bad review. If $19, I'd expect it to, you know, do a little bit more than just 
put a light little layer over the top of my hairstyle. Now if you have hair that frizzes out really badly, maybe this would work for you. So I don't want to give it a complete fail here, but it failed for me on, on those levels. I mean, after using the Kardashian hairspray, this it ruined this for me because this just didn't work. So uh, the Big Sexy Hair Weatherproof is a fail. DP Hue. This is a hair color. You can find this in Sephora and Ulta. This is a luxury hair color and this is a root touch-up kit. And I love this because when you open it up, you get the instructions are on the inside here. But you get two of everything. So you have actually two applications. And you get some really nice, you get some nice gloves, you get hair net, two of them. You get two bowls, you get a nice uh, this is a nice mixer and applicator. You get enough color for two applications and you get two separate developers to add. And you want two little mixing bowls as well. And you get a, a shampoo and conditioner which are absolutely wonderful. The, the regular um, shampoo and conditioner, not the ones with the color in them, but the regular shampoo and conditioner are outstanding. Um, you get enough for two here and it's just so luxurious. I mean, I have a separate video that I'm doing on my favorite hair care and I actually will show you the demo of how I got to this. And I have trouble with uh, hair color because I have a lot of resilient gray and white hair coming in. I mean, I'm 58 years old, so it's not the same hair I had when I was 30. So I've had difficulty finding, um, you know, home box mixes uh, that actually cover my hair and it keeps it for a while. Now this has been a couple of weeks and I'm pretty pretty pleased with uh, the ongoing niceness of this color and how it hasn't faded. And I purposely didn't put any highlights or lowlights in it because I wanted to see how it worked on its own. Um, is it's kind of a, a luxury line and I think it's around thirty dollars but it's it's two applications so they're around fifteen dollars each and of course you know when you have uh, Sephora coupon days or even in Ulta when they have their coupon days you can use your coupon with with this as well so it costs a lot less than that but I absolutely love this and this is the medium blonde color and uh, it's a little darker than what I normally have but I really like it and I think it's very complementary to everything else and especially in summer now when I have a little bit darker color I'm still fish belly white but not quite so fish belly white <laughs> Um, but I really like it and, it and it was fun to apply and it and it just it lasts and I love the fact that I also have um, a beautiful gloss uh, every couple of weeks is a conditioning gloss you can use in between your colorings that you know beef up the color a little bit and make your hair look fabulous so I'm really impressed with this company and I had been using Madison Reed which is an online you know hair color company as well this rivals it, it really does, and I like to go into a store and actually be able to touch, feel things, and look at them, and I really love the, the gloss and the hair, the root touch-up kit are, are fabulous, and I'm really enjoying it, and uh, I will be releasing that hair care video shortly. I, of course, um, bought things at the Nordstrom sale. I'm not under a rock, you know, I had to go and buy. Um, I had seen Emily Noel and a few other people talk about this, and this is the Lorac Refined Romance Palette. My first one arrived broken, and I wrote right away to Nordstrom, and I'll have to say, outstanding customer service. They sent me another one, plus a bag of goodies with it, right away, the second I said that it was broken. So the new one came in perfect condition. You have a nice mirror, of course, uh, with, as you would with most Lorac palettes. Now this one has uh, six shadows and three face products. You have a really nice, though slightly dark blush. You have kind of a, it's a shimmery highlight with a blue tone pink, and then you have a warm tone highlight, which is very nice. You can use all of these items on your eyes as well. Um, the six shades are more towards a cool tone, purpley, gray kind of uh, look to it, and a gold. And I did like the pigment very much. This is just one swatch, 
of this darker brown. Uh, the lighter brown was not as pigmented, but it was a nice transition color, and it comes off a little bit darker than you would believe um, it looks like here. The uh, white, very pigmented. You could do a little pal right here. Let me just put it in. Um, I don't know. I, I thought it was kind of lackluster. The packaging is just so darn pretty. I, I like everybody else, thought 18 bucks, you get three cheek products, you get six eyeshadows. What could go wrong with this? But I just think it's so lackluster. And it is limited edition, so um, I will probably put this in a giveaway because it's not that exciting to me and I'm not returning it again because they sent me a second one um, right away. Of course, of course, I returned my broken one to them, but um, I think outside of the packaging, there really isn't anything stand out or worth buying this for. So um, I'm not going to say it was a fail because somebody out there is going to like this, but you can only do limited looks with this and it's really not a standalone. Um, there's not enough here that, that made it a very exciting palette, but it makes a pretty, like, a gift to somebody, you know, or a thank you gift to your bridesmaids or something. It would probably be really nice, but um, as a Lorac palette, I think it was a fail for me, so. Okay. <laughs> as Joan Rivers once said, can we talk? <laughs> Walk like an Egyptian. Okay. I love Kat Von D, and as you know, I'm a huge fan of hers. In fact, I even did a video on her life, and that's listed below. Kat Von D has released um, a few new things. Some of them I love, and some of them not so much. This is a Serpentina palette. This case looks like something that would be buried with Tutankhamun. <laughs> it's very, very nice. As usual, she has put... Uh, a lot of work, effort, and thought into her packaging. Uh, this is a little bit different than her normal packaging, which is much thinner and, and lighter. And uh, it, it does. It, it looks very nice on the vanity. It is slightly heavy. Um, the product is not what's making it weight down, though. There's a beautiful Ankh symbol again and a mirror, which is actually... You can do your eye makeup with this mirror, but it's it's thin. I mean, you, I'd rather have a, a shorter one that's a little bit wider than that, but I'm being awful picky here. Let me just put this package over the top so you can see these shadows. At first glance, those of you who know um, me know that I like a matte light color, a matte crease color, and then you know, I'll go with all these fun, frolicky colors. There's a lot of jewel tone colors in here, and uh, the popular Blood Milk, for one. Um, I'm actually wearing these colors on my eyes now, and I've tastefully worked them in with working with the other Kat Von D palette. Um, this one is the Shade and Light palette, which I love, and I have used some very basic uh, matte shades with that. but these colors are very, very, they're loud and they're strong and they're, you have to use them just a little at a time or they look way too clown-like. Um, it's not the best assortment of colors and I'm, I'm a little surprised. And you get down at the end here, you've got this little jar of pigment. Which, you know, if you think about Tutankhamun and any of the Egyptian, uh, the stuff that's burial, there's, uh, it's kind of a dark mustard pigment, fool's gold color, you know, it's, it's a very pretty pigment and the idea of it is to kind of put it over the top after you've made your eye look, you can put it over the top. I actually have it in my eyebrows right now because I thought that would be kind of a fun way to use it. Um, I like the concept of having loose pigments in a palette, but there aren't enough colors in here that hold me to this. And um, I was a little disappointed in some of the quality of them. Uh, this color was particularly interesting, the Ankh color itself. It is a dark brown. I don't know if you can see. There's a beautiful glitter here. 
and I'm just going to put this in. This is the color. It is a beautiful shimmering dark brown. And I think the things that, the colors that Kat really excels at are the foiled colors and the shimmers. Uh, this is what I have lined my eyes with today, and I really like it. There is micro glitter in there. It is a dark brownish black with gold micro glitter. I guess it was kind of, I don't know. It's a pretty color. I mean, it's just really, let me just put a little on the end here. When in doubt, I'd throw it on the end. <laughs> it is not a palette for people over 45. Uh, as it's not a functional palette. Uh, the colors in here, especially this beautiful one, uh, this is the Scarab color, which I find unusual that it's called Scarab because the Scarabs are the bugs. They're the, the bug, the, the, the lucky bugs, the beetles. <laughs> um, the blue is called Nile, and I think that's very clever. It's not a, as strong a blue as you would expect. It's a very, it, it paled a little bit. I do have it on my eyes, and you can hardly tell. Um, but the scarab color I liked a lot. The purple, everybody's complaining that it's very patchy, and um, I'll have to agree that it didn't swatch as nicely as the others, but I liked it. I liked the way it went on. And actually, my favorite colors in here are these last three. And then I do like the blood milk color just a little bit in the corner here is what I have. Um, I worked with this. I didn't like this orangey color, and I didn't care for this gold. Um, it's like a, a goldy top. It's not all that different from the, the gold shimmer. Now the gold shimmer um, pigment, it does show up quite well. So I don't see why having both of those was necessary. I would have put a different color, maybe like a matte crease color for instance, so you could use this, or a light color. There's no light color in here. I mean, she could have really done something nice with a, a white, maybe with a white shimmer, I don't know. But I just don't think this is the best quality uh, cat palette that I've seen and in terms of the color assortment these colors don't really all go together that well and if you're gonna do a rainbow eye um, something strong for a party yeah okay it'll work but I mean there's other palettes um, there's less expensive palettes and other palettes that have similar colors in them that you can use um, but again you know the the quality of Cat Shadows is excellent. It's $45 for this palette for eight colors <laughs> and, the, and the gold shimmer. And if you bought them individually, yeah, it's a bargain, but you know, none of these really do it for me. So this was kind of a fail for me, but I have seen other people doing looks and loving it. And I just don't think it's worth 45 bucks, and I, it is a limited edition, too, on top of everything else. So um, it's up to you if, if you think that you can use this sort of thing. But I think the colors are awfully bold, awfully strong. Um, and if you're using them, it, you have to use them so sparingly. I'm not sure you would get your money's worth out of this particular palette. But gosh darn, I love, I love the design. <laughs> and I love Kat Von D, so... Uh, the cream concealer, the Locket Cream Concealer, OMG. I got this as a sample, and what I did was I just kind of swatched it on my hand, and this is the medium, and I thought, oh, well, you know, I have light skin, I'm not going to be able to use this. So what I did, though, is I did use it, and I, I kind of, like, when you spread it out a little bit, it actually looks pretty good, but what I liked about it was that it does not crease. And I'm going to put some right here right now. I loved this color on. I thought that this was great. You know, even though you have light skin, the the medium actually is so cool it is uh almost like a apricot color so you get that kind of uh erase the dark circles thing and i wore this at work all day and at night i'm looking in the mirror and it's not creasing it's not in the wrinkles 
It works better than the NARS, it works better than Urban Decay, and it works better than just about any other concealer I have tried, and I love it. And it comes in like a million colors. I couldn't believe how many colors this comes in. You could probably use this as a, a light foundation. I don't like the Locket Tattoo Foundation for me. I have dry skin and it just clung to everything and I didn't like it at all. But I love the concealer. So um, it's something to think about. But right now Sephora or somebody is giving away these as 100 point perks. So try this or you know swatch it if you can to get a good color match. And you don't want to go too light with a concealer obviously. But um, I love the fact that she had like 30 colors of this. Because I bought all of this stuff, I have become rouge again right up through December of 2017. <laughs> all that means is that I've been ridiculous in my spending over at Sephora. But that big box held this little thing from NARS. This is a new blush that's supposedly um, exclusive for the VIB Rouge. And it's a slight pinky color. There's a little bit of microglitter in there. But a uh, goulet or goulou, goulou. <clears throat> Pretentious. <laughs> Nars goulou. Anyway, very, very nice. Goulou. Very good. I was very pleased with that. Speaking of pretentious, I am um, doing two specials coming up. I'm doing one on Marlena with Makeup Geek, and I'm doing one on Charlotte Tilbury. And so I've been collecting Charlotte Tilbury stuff. Charlotte Tilbury. I just feel like I should sit up straight when I say that. When you get something from Charlotte Tilbury, it's like you've received a parcel from the Queen. Look how this is wrapped. You know, everything's very nice. They, give, they even give you stationery. You know, it's like, it's just, even the, the box has, it's just, man, that's great marketing branding. So anyway, I got the Bitch Perfect color of the Kissing Lipstick. And this is supposed to last throughout your whole day, whatever your activities. <laughs> This is my favorite nude lipstick right now. There's a slight vanilla sort of um, essence to it. It's a beautiful, beautiful color, and I, I love it. I mean, it's just a, and it's called Bitch Perfect. I don't like the name. I really don't, but I do like the color, and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous nude. And I know some of you say I should get away from nudes and go with the reds, but I, I just, I love this. This, this just brought the nude back to me because I've been getting away from nude lipsticks, but beautiful, beautiful. This is one of the prettiest blushes I have ever used, ever used. And <clears throat> I am wearing that right now. I love this. This is the um, First Love, it's called, from Charlotte Tilbury. And I'll talk more about Charlotte Tilbury in my special about her. I had another disappointment from Sephora. This is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. And of course, like many of you, I watch Wayne Goss and other people, and when they talk about something they love, and they think it's the best ever, OMG, best foundation ever, I pay attention and then I try it myself. And Hourglass put these out. There's a lot of colors of them. This is the Vanish Foundation Stick. It's supposed to be, let me just. This color is ivory. And it's supposed to meld into your skin. They suggest that you dot it lightly around your skin and then they use their special super duper brush to buff it into your skin and it makes your skin look flawless. <clears throat> it sat on my skin and ironically the only thing that would work with this was their own um, 
hourglass mineral veil. <laughs> it's the only thing that would work underneath it. It clung to the patches, it went into the lines. Um, I was very disappointed in this. I didn't think it worked at all. In fact, I'm taking it back and I am exchanging it for the Kat Von D full size concealer. I I didn't like it, but I have kind of dry skin. Uh, it's $46 for this, and I thought that was a little high. On the other spectrum, I got a sample of the Illusion Skin Tint, and uh, I really liked this one, but it's $56, and I don't want to spend that for a foundation. But this was excellent. This was a beautiful, beautiful um, foundation. ELF put out something very similar. And actually, it compares quite nicely with the Hourglass. And out of the two, I actually prefer the ELF. Uh, it runs light, though, and the light is real light. It's a little too light. You get that pasty look. So I would go up up a shade from what you think you are in the, in the ELF one. I think this is $6 versus $46. They're so close that I, ca I can't see any justification for getting this. I would get this, though. This is the e.l.f. Stick Foundation. I'm just going to... I'll just put a little on here now. It's very light, as you can see. It lasts really well. It spreads and blends really well. I really like this. And this is the light, and you can see it's very light. It's very light. I'm getting that raccoon look. But the, the formulation and everything about it, it's where it wore better than the hourglass. So, yeah. Um, this was a fail from NYX. This is the um, HD um, eye primer. And it's got a doe foot applicator, and it's it's got color to it. And what I found it did was when I applied it to my my eyes, it went right into the creases. It accentuated every little line, diamond pattern, uh, creepiness of my skin. It just accentuated it. When I put shadows over the top of it, it still maintained kind of a shininess to the shadows, and even my matte shadows didn't look right. I didn't, I didn't like this at all, and I thought I would love it because younger people like it. And it, again, I think it's, it's, this, it's the old and young thing. It really comes into play sometimes, and it, there's challenges with older skin where we have a lot of crepey skin and a lot of little lines and dings and dents up here. Young people can throw, you know, shiny stuff on there, and it looks fabulous on them. Old people throw it on there, and it's like you've crinkled up tin foil and stuck it on there. So the, the NYX HD... Eye primer was a fail. Um, speaking of cheap, these are great. Oh my gosh. These are the Essence um, liquid lipsticks. And I think I saw Emily Noel talk about them uh, on there. They feel good. They feel like silk on, on your lips. They last a long time. Uh, they have a great formulation. I love them, and I, I have three colors of them. They're having a sale at Ulta right now on the Pure uh, Chateau Divine lipsticks, and I think they're $7 right now, and I have the two colors I have that uh, you, should, you should have. I mean, they're just beautiful. Are uh, Shopaholic and Georgia Peach. two beautiful colors. This is the Georgia Peach right here, and then this is the Shopaholic. Beautiful. One's a cool tone, one's a warm tone. Gorgeous. All right, let me put one on. They're very hydrating and beautiful colors. I don't know if they're reformulating or if they're doing new packaging or if they're discontinuing this particular line, but the Chateau Divine uh, lipsticks from Pure 
uh, definitely worth a check out. And in the Ulta, you'll see that they're they're marked down right now. Also, their lip glosses are, but I wasn't that keen on the lip glosses. So, and the last thing is from Elf. This is the uh, matte lip color. And this particular one is the coral shade. But it actually um, looks a little more subtle and a little more pink on your lips and on your skin than it would uh, in the packaging. So this, this is completely wrong. <laughs> it's not like that at all. Uh, as a matte product, it's very creamy for a matte. It doesn't last all that long, but I thought that the, it was very nice for like three bucks or whatever it was. So Elf, you know, Elf always puts out comparable products. So that does it for uh, this month's uh, faves and flops. I hope it's been helpful to you, and I hope I've stopped you from making a mistake. <laughs> And if you missed out on the uh, Lorac Limited Edition from Nordstrom, didn't miss out on much. So anyway, until next time, I hope everybody's having a wonderful week. Have a beautiful day. Take care. Toodles.